Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today we have another paracord bracelet tutorial. This is an original design, but if you have seen it before, let me know in the comments because it is a pretty basic concept. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's been done before. So for now, I'm going to name this the Earth and Sky Paracord Bracelet. I named it that basically just because the colors I chose happen to be green and blue. So uh, yeah, creative, I know. So the first step is just go ahead and get your paracord out. One foot of cord for every inch of your wrist or less. And then you're just going to go ahead and clip the ends of those cords. Then you're going to singe those and then go ahead and press them together. After you do that, just roll them between your fingers to make sure you have a good seal. You're just going to go a little bit off of that spot and then bend the cord back. And then go ahead and measure that around your wrist. Then take off about an inch and then you have your measurement. Then you're going to bend those two cords back towards yourself. Then you're going to go ahead and do a cobra stitch. So take the left cord, put it over the middle two strands. Take the right cord, cross it over that blue cord behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop. Then you're just going to want to tighten that. When you do that, try to make sure there are no twists in the cord anywhere. And then you're going to go ahead and check that length around your wrist. There should be about an inch gap between the cobra stitch and the end of that loop. Then you go ahead and start the braid. Take the left strand, put it in front of the two middle strands, and wrap it around behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop. Then you're just going to go ahead and tighten that. And when you tighten that, you want to tighten it up towards the top. You're going to take the right strand, put it in front of the two middle strands, wrap it around behind the two middle strands and up through that right loop. Once again, when you tighten this, you're just going to want to pull it up towards the top. And then go back over to the left side and take that strand, put it over the two middle strands, wrap it around, put it behind the two middle strands and up through that left loop and go ahead and tighten that. So then you're going to go back to the right side, then the left side, and so on and so forth. When doing these, you want to try to make sure you tighten them the same amount every single time because it will make the pattern look different if you tighten one significantly more than the other ones. So continue doing that pattern until you get all the way down to the bottom. Then you're just going to go ahead and do a cobra stitch. Take your right strand and pull it down through that middle loop. Take your left strand and pull it up through that middle loop. And then pull the now right strand down through that right loop. And then the now left strand goes up through that left loop. You're just going to want to tighten that. Go to the other side of the bracelet and then loosen those two loops and then pull the strands through those loops. So the bottom cord will go through that bottom loop and the top cord will go through the top loop. Go ahead and tighten the bracelet the whole way to make sure there are no twists in the cord. Put that around the largest part of your wrist and make sure it fits. Then go ahead and mark that spot. And then you're going to tie a regular square knot. So go ahead and take the two strands wrapped around your fingers making a loop and then pull those two strands through the loop and then tighten that knot. Make sure you tighten it all the way to the spot that you marked earlier. After you tighten that, try it on one last time, make sure it fits. Then go off of that knot a little bit and then clip those two strands and then go ahead and melt them. And then you're done. Anyway guys, 
I know that this was probably a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.